Good morning, guys and gals. Backwaters and backroads here, obviously, on a rainy Lake Superior, Superior Land day. And what am I doing right now? I'm walking down the road with Wavy. I move. I uh, okay. I'll tell you. I welded up a winch bar on the Beagle Barge trailer yesterday. I will show you that. Um, it's not pretty, but it, I think it's very functional. And I've been needing it to pull the, the barge out of the water properly. Um, just a regular, you know, normal size V-hull boat alone trying to get it on the trailer property, properly, I should say. <laughs> um, without some kind of winch system is, it's very difficult. And let alone a 30 foot, you know, big welded aluminum houseboat. So, so hopefully, I'm going to try it out today, pulling my boat out of the water for a bit so I can also work on it, um, get back on those doors. I've been living on it on the water here, um, and it's been great. I've been loving it. I'm right on the river, and I have a million dollar spot, a million dollar view in my opinion. So I've been loving it, but uh, I need to put some energy and time into the, into the barge. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to Take it down the river here. Hopefully it'll get under the trussle. It's been raining. It rained really hard last night. I'm hoping the river level didn't come up to the point where I can't fit under the trussle. That will be a problem, but I'll just turn it around and park it again. So, so stay tuned. Let's see how the day goes. Gonna run some sea foam through the motor. Come on, wavy gravy. My little trail starting to blaze itself from me coming up and down here for the past month or so. There's the barge. Okay guys, we're out in the river. That wasn't too hard. Uh, feels good to be moving again on the barge. Can't wait till I have this thing dialed in and I can use it more. The nemesis of Antonagen, the trussel. Okay, I can still fit under it. Man, that was nerve-wracking because there's pretty high current and it was just pushing me. I really couldn't even stop, but it cleared, so that's good. Hey, even my even my pole cleared. Maybe I, I got an idea there for future crossings. Okay, well, while we're out here, guys, before we throw it on the trailer, let's uh, let's go out to the mouth and see what the lake's like. Maybe we'll go around the corner and beach it and go say hi to the new owners of the beach garage or something, you know, and make some breakfast. Let's just go take it out for a bit. I'm not in that much of a hurry, so. This is the dredging operation going on this summer. Well, guys, there's a little bit of white caps out there. And until I get some skirting on the front of the boat to increase the freeboard, um, I'm going to just play it safe. And plus, I don't have doors, obviously, so, um, you know, I don't want water coming inside. So I'm going to go ahead and turn her around. It's starting to rain. And we'll go put her back on the trailer. All right, I'm gonna pick the longest dock right there. So what I do, guys, is I uh, just figure out where the wind's coming from. In this case, it's south, and I'm just trying to inch up on it and let it 
can also drive at the same time I'm filming. <laughs> I just try to let the wind kind of just bump me up to the dock. So let's see how this goes here. Wait if you gravy. Okay, it worked, guys. And the wind just kind of keeping me on here. Let me show you. And there we go, guys. Now let's try to get her on the trailer. I'll just show you guys really quick what I did to the trailer yesterday. So I'm no welder, and they're not pretty, but I think they're strong. Salvaged it off an old trailer. And it's going to hopefully be able to winch it up enough and keep it there while it comes out. That's the bigger trick, and I'll explain. You're not helping. Okay, guys, well, it worked, sort of. I mean, the winch, you know, worked, but it kind of pulled back, you know. I, I like the boat to rest on the trailer a little bit, um, you know, a little bit more tongue weight. But it's okay for now because I'm just taking it, you know, a mile down the road to my house and working on it. So next time I pull it out, you know, I'll try to think of a way, maybe set up a chain to hold it better instead of just the winch rope. I mean, that's old winch rope. I'm actually surprised it didn't break, but okay, guys, let's take her home. Moff, are you driving? Moff, Moff. Okay, guys, I did it. It's parked at the river here. And just to give you guys some reference, you know, there's my river spot right there. There's the trail.